Hey, welcome back. It's Mike Torino here. I'm at the uh, house build site. And today is Sunday. It's Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to all the fathers. Just taking it slow today. There's no work going on. So I, th I thought I'd come up and just do a little in-progress video for you. In the, in the background you can hear people frolicking in the river over there. Yeah, they're just that way having some picnics. Which is cool. I love it. I'll show you the latest update right now on the spring house. Here it is in front of me. I'm standing on the back side. And I'll just kind of walk around it. The, um, it's like I said, it's uh, rebar and concrete hollow block on the inside. And then uh, riprap stone on the outside. I envisioned that they were going to you know, put the hollow block up first. And then I could have sealed it with some waterproofing, or cementitious... Uh, waterproofing paint it's called a uh, plexibond and you mix for every like five gallons you mix one bag of cement into it and it uh, goes on like paint but it's obviously it's a mixture of cement and waterproofing paint and it works really well but they had they went ahead and started rip wrapping it you know right away but I don't think it's a problem no. And, and also just to clarify this this is not this is a side project of mine it's not uh, contracted under my build so my architect uh, architect and foreman this is this is just uh, not affiliated with that but this is the, the way I would do it anyway um, the crew that I have working here also worked on the garage so I know all these guys This is the doorway. Yeah, like I said, it's going to be a old-fashioned Spanish-type door that you would see in some old Spanish churches. And then inside, I'm walking around inside. And uh, what's really cool is I love the way they. This is how they maintain the 360-degree circle using this. Uh, and here, it's not here right now, but they, they put their level on here and just spin this around as needed to make sure that they're maintaining a, a perfect circle. Yeah, I love it, you know. Guys like me would go out and spend four or five hundred bucks on a laser level, which I did. <laughs> And I got some use of, use of it in the garage. On uh, some of the garage videos, you'll see me looking at the laser level. And the funny thing is that after they used their bubble levels, and uh, I went back and checked, and it was always right on. So the, the old ways are, are better, or at least as good as technology. So here's our you know, outlet from the ground. Right now we're shooting the water out uh, because I, I still want to run it, you know, they say keep keep running that, but don't let it sit too long or else, you know, you'll get a lot of sediment possibly up down in the uh, motor. So we added that little pipe just temporarily to so we can run it. 30 minutes a day and plus they can get fresh water out of here for the concrete mixes that they're making and you know after they're done they'll they'll do the uh, what they call rendering I'm sure you guys seen it before it's basically just plaster sand and concrete to uh, smooth out the inside of the structure but we'll plex on that you know to waterproof it as well uh, 
so <laughs> I'm liking it I'm liking it so far this is just a pet project but I think it's gonna turn out really nice I'll see if I can get a shot from the little horse trail that we have this is kind of what it be it would look like behind the mahogany trees but it's gonna go up about this high and then have a domed roof so what I'm thinking is for the roof I'm going to suggest that once they get to the proper height here is that you know as we start creating the dome we bend the rebar you know like that and connect it all around and then uh, find some chicken wire or uh, screening material and then we'll start layering concrete on top of that possibly even making some cross beams with some extra rebar you know like a like a pizza pie you know or uh, yeah. <laughs> to support that roof and then and then once it's supported enough uh, we'll go ahead and use the same stones not as big but stones like this will go over the roof dome so it'll be like a little squat castle an update on the spring house. I'm gonna go ahead and take a walk upstairs and uh, film some of the latest updates up there. So I came up the stairs and I'm here at the at the backyard you know and again it's Sunday so the only people who are here are a couple of the guys that stay here 24-7. So it's nice and peaceful right now. But uh, I can share a couple things. So we uh, we just got done with uh, the the uh, initial service of Big Red here. You know, a lot of repairs. Not a not a lot of repairs, but some repairs on the little ones. Some repairs on the on the yellow uh, backhoe. You know, I kept bringing more tools every week. I would bring, oh, I need this, I need that, and bring it up. So it, it started to uh, exceed the capacity of my little hand toolbox. So I decided to go to Inco. This is, Inco is kind of the uh, harbor freight of Asia, <laughs> or at least the Philippines. But I like what they have. It's, I mean, it's, it's decent. And, um, they got a lot, a lot of tools, a lot of hand tools, uh, pretty much anything you can think of as far as construction. And um, we picked this up to, you know, account for all the number of tools that I'm, I've been bringing up from the garage because everything on the table it was, it was just getting too much. So I like, I like this box here. And some, you know, someday I will have uh, maybe a, a three-sided barn to keep the machines in, and just to keep some essential tools. And I'll take back all of my good tools back to the garage, and I'll just stock this box here with some cheaper tools, you know, specific to the to the machines. But uh, one of the the funny thing is. is if you're familiar with the tools at all, is you can't find an 18 millimeter wrench here. Well, probably anywhere. It's like 17, 19. Well, do you have 18 millimeter? No, don't have 18 millimeter. They skip over it for some reason. I mean, guys like me hate that, you know. They're out there in a set. But I don't want to buy a whole set just for one 18 millimeter open end wrench or socket. 
It's just funny. But we'll get back. We'll, we'll make it. Another funny story is on the uh, the 6K generator that I have over the hill here. We just did the initial break-in maintenance for that at 25 hours. Uh, so we changed the oil. And I'm looking, I'm looking. There's no oil filter. Okay. Well, I get it. You know, some single single cylinder uh, engines don't have oil filters but this is a two cylinder diesel so I figured it would have an oil filter and maybe a fuel filter but well, I, I, I couldn't find it and so we went back to the we went back to Inca when we bought this box and said hey man does that does that 6k generator have an oil filter no it doesn't have an oil filter not only does it have an oil filter, it's it's ridiculous how you have to drain the oil. There's there's no easy way to like pull a plug and have the oil drip into a pan. You have to pull the plug and let it make a giant mess, you know, and, and drip out of the bottom of the generator. So that, that was weird. You know, I'm trying to be ecologically sound up here. So just between you and me, I didn't let it drip on the ground. But yeah, as as we progress in time and space, the uh, the tools will grow, and the support required to maintain these tools will grow. And we'll probably need a a barn someday, way down. I'll probably put it down there somewhere out of the way. So here is here's my wife Antonia. Say hello Antonia. Hello Antonia. <laughs> <laughs> she she likes to start fires. She's always burning something. She she lights fires at the garage and well we all we all try to light fires up here. But it's been raining so much we can't get any of this to burn. So Again, this is just a slow Sunday here at the at the property. But I don't know if anybody knows this, but those green leaves right there, that's mangosteen. Mangosteen? It's, it's mangosteen, yeah. And they uh they go up like like gangbusters. There there's something in those leaves. Some kind of uh oil or something. I mean, they go up like a pine tree. Even green uh, I'll show you the, how, how fast they catch but if they're dried out it's even better so if you're ever, you're ever in the jungle and you need to a fire starter the uh, mangosteen is your is your friend Thank you. 